Can you all, right, all you. see the see the slide? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, very good. Okay, children, we get yourself already, all right? And then uh, teacher Ernest is going to lead us this morning, and teacher e Kevin will be teaching you all, okay? Hello, everybody. Okay, we're going to pray first, okay? Before we go into anything else, okay? We want to talk to God and we want to thank God, okay? Every time you want to start a meeting we or start a day, you know, you just want to pray to God and thank God, you know, for giving us a good night rest and uh, for a new day for us to enjoy. Okay, so let's pray and then let's thank God for all these things, okay? Father, we just want to thank you for the house that we can stay in. We want to thank you for the bed also that we can enjoy. Uh, we thank you, uh, Father, for always providing for my needs. And we thank you, Father, that we have a new day, Lord, to uh, learn about you. Father, we also want to pray, Lord, for many other children, Lord, who do not have the same things. Father, we pray, Lord, that they, uh, that you also look after them. And Lord, most importantly, that they, these other uh, children will come to know you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, I believe we will sing one song from a YouTube video first. Uh, am I right? Yes. Right. We also wait for Auntie Evelyn uh, or Evelyn uh, to play the song, and then we will. After that, we we'll sing one more song, and then we will go with our lesson to the on ten compliments. Kevin, can you play uh, the video? I will stop screen share a bit because the PowerPoint like sing doesn't seem to move. Okay. Okay. Okay.
Hey, so that's our first song. So if you see the Ten Commandments, the first commandment, right, is love the Lord your God. Okay, so who is our God? Okay, why we want to love God? Right? Okay, well, first song, right, tells us God, right, is our Father and we are His children. Okay, so He uh, has, if you all know, He has adopted us as children huh, for all who believe in Jesus Christ. Okay, so that's why uh, through Jesus Christ, we want to love God for the love that God also gave to us. Okay, so it is because God first loved us and therefore we also want to love God. Okay, so we're going to sing this song, huh? God is our Father. I am sure you all don't know this song. Okay, so I'm going to sing to you first and then you all must sing with me, okay? I hope you all can sing with me. Okay, so uh, the song goes like that, okay? So, God is our Father and we are... Sorry, uh, wait, uh, let me get in tune first. Uh. God is a father and we are his children. God is a father and we are his children. I'm so sorry. Wait, uh, let me get right in tune first. Uh. I just woke up when it. Okay, so uh, you all don't hear me sing out of tune. Uh. You must sing with me, okay? You must sing louder than me. Hold on. Uh. God. Okay, that's the first part, okay? So, God is our Father, and we are His children. May Jesus our brother. And hand in hand, we'll walk together as one. Okay, that's the first part. So when you go into the second part, uh, okay, got action on, okay? So it'll be like that. Sing praise to the Lord with the tambourine. Sing praise to the Lord, tapping hands. Sing praise to the Lord. Then you all must move left and right, okay, with your shoulders. With the dancing feet. Sing praise to the Lord. With our voice, then we all sing la 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 la. La 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 Okay, easy? Easy, right? Can I ask everybody to turn on their camera? Huh? Is everybody on? Matthew, can you turn on your camera? I hope everybody huh, can do action, okay? What we do so that I don't do alone and then look uh, too ridiculous and look alone, look stupid myself. Okay, <laughs> we all do together, okay? We sing on the first part. God is our father. Okay, let's go. Okay. Huh? Mm. God is our Father, and we are His children. 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 We are Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to pass the time huh, to Uncle Kevin and he will take over from here. Uh, thanks, uh, <laughs> Uncle Ernest, for uh, the praise and worship sessions. Uh, Uncle Joseph, can, can I share the screen so that... Uh... Yeah, co-host, I think you can... I already share. made co-host already. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, uh, before this, there is 
no scoreboard for this one. So uh, let's go into the memory verse first. So uh, for last week, taken for, from Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, the Lord will, and you just need to what? Children? Matthew, do you re still remember what is the last verse for, what's the verse for last week? Hmm, smiley face. <laughs> hmm. Or Abby, do you still remember what's the verse for last week? What's the word that you use when you um, you start with F? It means that uh, you you start with F. What do you do when you go into a battle, children? When you go into a battle, what what do you not what is what is actually you are doing? Or when you get annoyed with somebody, what do you, what what can uh, spark you off to do? When you lose your self control, what do you do? What can you do actually when you are angry? The, uh, Kevin, I think just give them the answer. Okay, um, the Lord will fight for you, and you just need to be still. Okay, so uh, can children uh, open your mic and also a video so that uh, we can repeat together the, the verse. Children, so the Lord will fight for you, just need to be still. Okay. I respond to teacher Kevin Ken, please children. The, the, the children are all muted, so they, how to respond? We're going to children, get them to unmute. Unmute yourself. Unmute, yes, very we good, Daryl. Thank together. you. Okay. Paul, unmute. Paul, unmute. Paul, unmute. Silas, unmute, please. Matthew, Sell. Oh, I'll keep your thing unmute, then you can respond. Okay, ready, go. The Lord. The Lord. So will fight, fight for, for you. you. Just yes, need to be still. Okay, very good, very good children. Uh, now let us watch a video first before uh, going to the teaching section. Uh, there's no video, no? Uh, I can actually play it. Okay. I mean, the initial plan is a video. Yeah. Okay. How many of you have rules to follow at your house or chores that you do every week? Yeah, we all do. Maybe your rule is to take your shoes off before you go out onto the carpet. Can you all hear the, hear the sound? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Or one of your chores might be to clean your room and then take out the trash. <sighs> Those rules are in place to help you and your family have relationship. I can show that I love my mom by obeying her with a good attitude when she asks me to clean up my room or to turn off my video game when she tells me it's time for bed. But what happens if I break one of the house rules? Am I kicked out of the house? No, I still have a place at the table for dinner and I still have a bed to sleep in. Following the house rules in my parents' house with a good attitude, it shows them that I honor them as my parents and that I love them. The 10 commandments are a lot like- Hey Andrew, oh, hey, hey, there you are Andrew. Hi Chunks, what's up? Well, I 
just have a question. Yeah, what's the question? Why do I have to do my homework before dinner when I could just as easily do it after? What do you mean, Trunks? Did you just come from your house? Yeah, so here's what happened. I came home from school and I was ready to play my favorite video game when my mom told me that I needed to do my homework before dinner. Okay, uh, let me pause for a while and translate for you all. So, uh, just a very brief summary of the first one minute. So, <coughs> so basically, uh, 那个, 这个, 这个人讲说, oh, 他给了两个这个 不遵从我们的父母这个时间我们会等下讨论，然后，嗯，我们现在可以看接下来看那个video。Okay, makes sense to me. So what's the problem? Well, the problem is that I really don't want to do my homework before dinner. I want to do it after. I just don't understand why I have to do it then. Okay, I see. So doing your homework before dinner is kind of like one of those house rules. Well, Trunk, sometimes we don't always understand why our parents or teachers ask us to do something, but it's still important to listen to them and obey them with a good attitude. Because when we do that, we're showing them that we love them and that we honor them. Oh, well, that kind of makes sense, but I still don't want to do my homework before dinner. I understand that, Trunks, but answer me this. Do you love your parents? Well, of course I do. Well, one way you can show them that you love them is by obeying them with a good attitude, by doing your homework before dinner. Hmm, okay, so I can show them that I love them and honor them by obeying them with a good attitude? That's exactly right. Well, I guess I can do that. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, you're welcome, buddy. See you later. The Ten Commandments are a lot like these house rules. God wanted a relationship with the Israelites. God rescued the people from Egypt because he loved them. And now that there was this relationship, God showed the Israelites what is important to him. He basically said, here's how to have a relationship with me. And here's how to have a relationship with others. When we obey God's law with a good attitude, we are showing him that we know him, that we honor him, that we love him, and that we have relationship with him. Jesus said it this way. Okay, so 刚才就要一个小小的讨论讲说, 哦, 所以然后那个人就解释讲说因为他把我们从他把以色列人从埃及拯救出来 you love me, you will keep my commandments. He said that in John 14:15. It's not about the rules, it's about the relationship. So what happens if we don't follow one of the Ten Commandments? Are we kicked out of God's family? No. On the contrary, God wants you to come near to him when you sin. He tells us to confess our sins and he will forgive us. Now remember this, the Ten Commandments were given before Jesus came to the earth. The price for sin had not yet been paid by Jesus. We live in a time 
after Jesus died on the cross for our sins. The price of our sin has been paid in full. It's not by our works that we are saved, but it's by the grace of God, and God wants you to be free from sin. Galatians 5.13 says this, For you have been called into freedom, but do not use your freedom as an excuse to live in sin. Instead, serve one another in love. Jesus summarized the whole law in this, love God and love others as yourself. Our works, being perfect or obeying all the rules is not what saves us. It is the free gift of God's grace that saves us. Obeying God's law is simply how we show God that we love him and that we honor him. Everyone say this after me. Every day, every day, I make choices. I make choices. Okay, um, the remaining video, I wouldn't play it, but just for the sake of translation, I will uh, try to summarize the whole thing that the person has said. So, um, so he said that God loves us, and we need to have a relationship with each other. And then these rules, these rules, these rules, are not about a certain rule that you have to follow. 但是，但是一个是关于一个关系。当我们不遵守其中一个规则，如果我们信上帝的话，我们还不会被呃 kick out， 就是被赶出上帝的家庭。因为上帝为了我们死在死在十字架上，为了我们呃流出他的宝血，然后来洗净我们的罪。当我们认错悔改，上帝的恩典还是能够呃。让我们能够被接受进他的家庭当中 ，OK。然后这就像呃，加拉太书第五章第十三节讲说，弟弟兄们，你们门招是得自由，只是不可将你们的自由当做放纵情欲的机会，总要用爱心服务，不是。所以他就是讲说，哦。你们不可以当，因为被拯救了，因为有恩典了，不可以，还是不能乱做坏事 ，OK？ And I will stop swearing, and I will go into the PowerPoint slide. So, um, let us go into the commandment now. So the first commandment is children, OK? Uh, do you remember what's the? Have you been taught of uh the ten commandment before? Matthew, have you been uh have you learned the ten commandment before? Hello, Matthew. Yes. Ah, can you remember what's the first commandment? No God before me, is it? Oh, oh, no God before, and what's the second one? Hmm, I don't think I remember it. Oh, okay, it's okay. But you know that's really good. You, you, you roughly say the first one. Abby, do you know the what's the second commandment? I oh, don't know. Dara, do you know what's the second one or the third one or any other ten commandments that God has given? Dara, I don't know. Okay, uh, it's okay. Uh, let me give you what's the ten commandment. Okay. 妈咪好聊哦，妈咪那个好聊哦，我饿啊。First is to you shall have no other gods before me. So, uh, like what Matthew has said is good. Second one is to you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above or on earth. The third is you shall not misuse the name of the Lord. And fourth is to re remember the Sabbath day. By keeping it holy, so let us go into the verse and see what does that mean to say that you shall have no other gods before me. So, uh, why God say that uh, you shall have no other gods before me? So, uh, because 
God is the only true God that we should worship. Why? Uh, I think a few reasons. First is God is our creator. So he creates the heaven and the earth and he creates earth after his image. So we are very honored because you know we have the image of God and he created us for the purpose. And, you know, and God is all powerful. So, and by saying that, he is our Lord. And also, you know, he, he gives us rules and he is the only truth that we should follow. The second commandment is also similar to the first one. So we should not meet and worship. So by saying that, um, you shall have, you shall not make for yourself an image in the form of anything in heaven above and on the earth. So this means that we should not make and worship any idols that is made by God's hand. And I think the clearest example is can be found in Exodus that you know the Israelite made a, a golden calf for to worship God. And at that time, God is really, really angry with the Israelites. And when when uh is really, really angry with Israelites. And also, you know, sometimes we meet and worship any other forms of idols, like, you know, maybe a K-pop stars that, you know, really idolize the persons and, and chase the persons and make it the top priority of, in our life, you know. Replace uh, any, anything or any persons before God. Can you help me close the door, please? And the third commandment is we shall not misuse the name of the Lord. So the underlying principle is that we should respect and not blaspheme God's name. Blaspheme means, you know, I say something bad things that, you know, hurts God. So I think in a way, we should be careful when we're using the word name of the Lord. And because, you know, if we misuse the names of the Lord, God will be very, very angry with us. And the fourth commandment is to remain the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Uh, this is a huge topic, and if you want more, you can certainly ask me more questions. But I think um, the Sabbath day uh, implies it, it, it is born at the seventh day. So you remember God creates the earth in six days and the seventh day he rests. So Sabbath means uh, rest. So I think this is a pattern of rest and work that reflects something even greater in the future which points to the eternal rest that we should look forward to. And what's the point of me giving you, you know, the fourth commandments? I think the reasons that we need to learn about the 10 commandments is so that we can love God and love our neighbor. This can be found in Matthew 22. So Matthew, would you like to read for us the verse from 34 to 36? Matthew, are you there? Okay. The reason that God gives us this commandment is to ask us to love God. This can be found in Matthew 22. Uh, can you read for us the, the first? Yeah. He, he heard that the Sadders was able to answer Jesus. So the Pharisees got together. One of them was an was an authority on the law. So he tests Jesus with his question. Teacher, he asks, which is the most important commandment in the law? In the law. Okay, can you finish it until verse 40? Okay. Okay. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him and with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law and the prophets is based on these two commandments. Okay, excellent reading. Okay. So as Matthew has read us the verse from uh, verse 34 to 40, we can certainly see that the 10 commandments can be summed up in just two things. First is to love our God, and second is to uh, love our neighbor. So 
God requires us to love him and obey him. And, you know, sometimes we might break all this law on multiple occasions, but God is merciful enough and he is able to forgive us if we come to him and ask for his forgiveness. And the point that I want to clarify here is that I think as a human being, I think even for me, myself, or Uncle Ernest, Auntie Evelyn, <laughs> or Uncle Joseph, we have all uh, broken one of these rules on multiple occasions. And the law is to help us realize that, you know, how sinful I am and how great the sinner is. And, you know, but God is more merciful. God can forgive us if uh, forgive our sins if we sincerely come before him and ask for his, his forgiveness and Jesus Christ has died on the cross for our sins and on the third day he raised from the death and that shows that he has the powers over sin and also death by conquering sin and death he showed that he is the Lord Almighty that uh, is in control of everything. So that, you know, when we believe in him, uh, we will no longer, uh, we can live with him uh, in eternity. And we are no longer afraid of that. And if we come to know Jesus Christ, okay? Uh, try to remember what Christ has done for us on the cross and also he, his resurrection means he raised from the death on the third day. So, uh, okay. So, uh, now come to the Q&A sections. This is really the first question. It's really, really a simple question. If you listen carefully just now, uh, you will know the answer. So first is, what is the third commandment? Uh, children, you can type in your answer in the chat box. If you feel comfortable, you can unmute yourself and shout out your answers. And teacher Kevin will be very happy to listen to your voice and to, to, to see your answers. Try to, uh, children, try to uh, be participative as possible. Yongbing, uh, do you have any answer? What's the third commandment? What about Daryl? Daryl? Daryl, where are you? Yeah. Answer the question for teacher Kevin. Is it air? You shall have no other gods before me, or B, you shall not murder, or C, you shall not uh, take the name of the Lord in vain. What, what's the correct answer? A, B, or C? Daryl? C. C. Oh, okay. Daryl say C. Who else? Uh, Pearl? Her, do you have an answer? Just now you talk a lot during before the class. Would you <laughs> like to? I want to listen to your voice again. Okay. <laughs> well say, mm. It's a multiple choice question, Pearl. It's either A, B, or C. Multiple choice question, uh, you can go by elimination, okay? So definitely it is not B, okay? You shall not murder, right? Because Kelvin has not mentioned anything about this. Okay, so it's either A or B. Or, or C, oh, sorry. Yes, to go to the police. Huh? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either A or C. Okay. So you don't have, you don't you, you got fifty percent chance of getting it right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. When whenever you you can also use this stress strategy in your examination, right? If it's a multiple choice, you see which is the most logical answer or illogical answer. You. The most illogical one, you just cross it out. And then after that, you guess the, the other two, which is the nearest to you. Then if not, then you just mini, minor, mini more. So, Pearl, 
you shall have no other gods before me or see. You shall not take the name of the Lord your God in vain. First commandment, just now earlier on, teacher Kevin already said, right? You shall have no other gods before me. That's the first commandment, right? So that leads with you. Leave, it, leave you with what answer. Children, don't be afraid of making a mistake, okay? So you will learn, okay? Everybody learns from their mistakes, don't worry. Actually, when you make mistakes and you learn from it, huh, you remember it for life. Okay, Pearl? Just try. Already, and I, I, I already give you the hint. Come. Yeah. What? Cannot be A, right? A is the first commandment. Cannot be B. So it must be? It must be what? You shall not take the name of, of the Lord. Yes. Oh, God okay. is, I cannot see the word. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's blocked. Okay, sorry. In vain, okay? Yep. In vain. Yep, good. Good try. Okay, good, good. <sighs> okay, sure. And the answer is C. And children, you have all have done a good job in choosing the correct answer. Nice. We choose the correct answers. <laughs> okay, and now let's go to the second question. A very general question. So uh, from the four things that you have mentioned just now, do you think you have obeyed all the uh, four commandments just now in your life? Or do you think that you have broken any of them? Uh, Matthew? Hello, Matthew. Yes. Do you think you have obeyed the four commandments that I just mentioned? Hmm. Hmm. I think so. Oh, you think you have obeyed all the commandments? Matthew, can I see you? Okay. You. Okay. Oh, you think you have... Oh, okay. I think you have breakfast. So you think you have obeyed all the four commandments, la? Oh, so you think you're a good person, la, Right? Yeah. Oh, but have you ever say like OMG in your life or say anything like, oh, I swear using the name of the Lord of God? Have you ever say that? What do you mean? Like in your conversation with other people, right? Yeah. Have you ever like you saying the word O N G R or saying the word that, like say that oh I swear by the name of the Lord? Not by, really. Not really. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. So you never say those words before, la? Like not even once. Yeah. Oh, okay. But um. Have you have uh? Do you have something that uh? You, what's the thing you really like right now? I want to buy a cross, you know, two pieces of wood. And I also, uh, yeah, I also like reading books. Reading books, what kind of, are you the ones that like anime one? Anime was that. Uh, uh, it's me, I'm the one. Oh, that? anime, I know already, I know already. <coughs> I, I don't like anime. I love, I love anime. Oh, you I, love anime, okay. I love, not me, I don't love. <laughs> he loves books. Oh, and okay. I, I love my national, my national history national. book. National, national history, history book. book. Okay, uh, so, okay, thanks, thanks so much. But uh, let me ask, just ask you one more question. So uh, how many, like, what's the time you, you, how much time do you spend on reading the Bible compared to uh, watching those uh, anime or reading other books? The Bible, because now I cannot really 
Golden. Go check nak ke suah. Okay, go borrow the rope, okay? Okay. Well, my papa bought me some of their books so I can kind of watch them. I got, I got a Bible book in my house. I sometimes read it. Sometimes? I can show you how it, how it looks like. How, so, sometimes... How my book looks like. Wait, huh? Okay. So messy. Maybe it's stopping now, sorry. I have, I have two. You can see it, you have off your video. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, so okay, okay, children. Yes, okay. So uh coming back to the questions, right? So um have you all a Bible that's is it green man driven? Yeah. Yeah, the animation stuff I don't know. You don't know what's the version, right? Never mind, but we know it's a Bible, right? This is not really okay. a Bible. It's not a Bible. I don't it's, a think... Bi it's a Bible storybook? Yeah. No, no, no. No. I told you no. Oh, okay. It's a comic. It's the anime series. Oh, I see. I oh, I see. DJ, you want to see my background? Yeah. So this, oh. We so, love it all. Okay. So, uh, per, do you spend more? Have you do you spend time reading your Bible? Uh, the same time maybe not really that similar. Uh, my Bible, when when I can just do so, whole, I read for three hours. Okay. Three hours. Uh. Like four, four or five, uh, like that. Four or five Bibles. Four or five Bibles. Oh, okay. Um, but uh, do you? Place any? Games. Yeah. So do you spend more time on uh? Reading anime compared reading. to Re reading. So do you spend more time reading on anime compared to uh... yeah, because there are a lot of spoilers from the oh, new movie. Okay. There's a lot of spoilers, so I like it. Hmm. I didn't buy I didn't buy 23. I only bought 21 and 22. Okay, okay. But have you all like insult God's name? Say that oh God, you are a bad God when Something like that. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, Kurt? What are you talking about? Oh. Okay. I think they have to come to know God uh, in a more intimate sense before they can really use God's name in vain, right? Mm. Um, maybe... Okay. Okay, wait. If you want to ask what I play in my spare time, sure. play game, I play this thing. Okay, okay, sure. But, sure. Uh, yes, yes. Make sure I call God a uh, Lord. Is it like that? I also call him like that, Lord. I call him a Lord. Yes. yes. And also, I, Holy I, Father. I yeah, it's, it's, it's interchangeable. Okay, you can call God your Lord or you can uh, call him yes. God, okay? Yeah. Or Father. Yeah. Those are, are, you can address God in that manner, right? But what teacher Kevin is trying to say is that um, when you're very angry, right, then you use God's name to uh, swear, you know? And that is not right. Because by using God's name to swear, you are actually um, using God's name not in the right proper way. You will okay? make him angry. Yes, you will make yeah. him angry. You yeah. make him very sad. You because, yeah, because what we have to do is that when we believe in God, we have to glorify him, okay? Because he is our God Almighty, right? So we cannot yeah. use, yeah, we cannot minimize God to that low level because God is always above us, okay? He's always above us. 
Yeah, so we have to respect him and uh, uh, honor him. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, thanks, Auntie Evelyn, for the explanation. I think I will skip question three and go into the memory verse. So the memory verse for uh, next week is taken from Exodus 20, verse 3. So it's the first commandment, which is, I think, you know, the most important one. So do not put any other gods in place of me. Me refers to God, okay? Our God. So you cannot put any other gods in place of me. Okay? Just remember the first commandments. And remember this and stay, uh, remember this uh, even until next week and after this lessons. Okay. And with that, I shall pass the time to Anchor Ernest for the closing song. Is Uncle Ernest around? Oh yeah, he's there. Ernest, you are un uh, you are muted. Oh yes. Shall I? Hello. Okay, so how are we gonna end this hall? Okay, we've been talking about loving God, okay, or obeying his commandments. Okay, but I think you know we must first know very importantly that Jesus loves us. Okay, that God loves us okay when we know god loves us then we understand why we want to really love him okay and the real reason why we can want to love him okay is because god loves us first okay so we're gonna sing this song jesus loves me this i know do you all know this song you all know this song yes yes ah uh? okay my Matthew, you sing loud loud with me okay Okay. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. unmute because this song is very familiar with you. Yes, everybody yeah, unmute it's, all it's, together, okay? It's super duper familiar for me. Nice. Very good. Yeah, very good. Oh, you, you, sing you together, yes, okay? Yes, yes, please let me oh, sing. Holy, you're the singer. So unmute yourself. Okay, I'm going to start I already, playing. I already unmute it. Sing, okay? Good, good, good. Oh, thank, I thank. Matthew Xiao, Matthew Xiao, please unmute yourself. Get ready. I'm, uh, I'm not Matthew Xiao, I'm Matthew. Yeah, I'm gonna start. Uh, Matthew Lim, there's also Matthew Xiao, yeah, I want him to get ready. Okay, go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Uncle Joseph will sing together also. It's very loud. Okay, go, let's go. Ne never mind, it's okay. Yes, Jesus loves me, yeah. Okay. Yes, Jesus loves me, yeah. Okay. Yes, Jesus loves me, yeah. This I know, oh, the Bible tells me so, little ones to Him belong, they are weak, but He is strong.
Very good. Okay, very good. Uh, now, uh, coming to the closing prayer, can Matthew sell uh, read yeah. this prayer? Okay. Why you can read? I want to read also. Next week. <laughs> Next week, Paul, your turn, okay? Yeah. Matthew sell? Uh, where's Matthew? Dear Heavenly yes. Father, we thank you, Lord, for another day and that we can rejoice in it. Thank you, Lord, for your love and for giving us the Ten Commandments so that we know the right from wrong and to live according to your instruction. Be confess of our sin and ask for your forgiveness and Lord, we ask that we that you help us and I ask guide us I think he loves us guide us is that still there internet is down I think for you yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, Paul, can you finish the second uh, paragraph? Um, is it back? You have to confess that one. Yes, it is. Yeah. Huh? Which one? Sure. Well, wait, me... um, we confess of our yeah. sins. From here or from here? From the second par from the second paragraph, from we. We confess. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. We confess our sins and ask for your forgiveness. And Lord, we ask that you help us and guide us each and every day. Help us to shine for you. We thank you for all of your blessings and for keeping us in good health and free from the pet pet petulance. Pestilence. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, uh thank you, uh Matthew and Amen. Her. Amen. And okay, Lord, thank uh, you so much. We have uh comes to the end for our this week children ministry. Thank you all for joining this week and we hope to see you next week. Okay. Not done yet. Three, three, four, amen. Is it? You're waiting for yeah. three, four, amen. Okay, oh, let's okay. go. Sorry. One, two, three. Uh, Matthew, you have your wish. <laughs> Matthew Lim. <laughs> Very good of you to remind us. Huh? <laughs> no, it's Paul. Paul, 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 is it who reminded us? No, it's something? Matthew. Me. Matthew. Matthew, Matthew is the Matthew. one who reminded us. <laughs> yeah. Matthew. Okay, okay. <laughs> Matthew, you're so ingrained now with all the yeah, order of service that you uh, yeah. so responsive already. Mm. Okay. Okay, I thank did. you, children, for coming. Huh? Um, shall we see you on next week? I'm Paul. 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 It's not shall we see you. Or you all have uh, to come and week. see us next week. <laughs> um, next week, I will. you will do the closing prayer, okay, Paul? All right. Okay. Keep in touch, okay, all of you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. And Ernest. Bye-bye, children. Take care and see Bye. you all again next Bye. week. Huh? Mm. Bye. Lynn, nice to see you, Lynn. <laughs> Because late, ah. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> I like your dress. <laughs> Where are you going?
Oh, you're going church later. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Five yeah, more minutes only, you know. Hello, five more five. minutes. <laughs> okay, go Bye. ahead. Bye. Matthew, Matthew, uh, tomorrow night. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Sinhui. Nice for you to come. See you. Yeah. Sinhui. Can see you now. Bye. Bye.